Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here. Back to doing a new recorded video <laughs> on my YouTube channel. Or Bitchu channel for that matter, but I usually post this on YouTube. And yes, I'm wearing my Batman t-shirts that I got last year for my birthday. I'm Batman. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. I mean, I love Batman, of course. Well, the reason I'm doing this video is that, of course, lately, things have been pretty hectic. Now that we're in September, uh, summer's already over at this point on, but it's still, still have the summer heat going on. That's why I'm putting the air conditioner full blast in my room. Yeah, well, anyway. I thought it'd be nice to do a video where I just found out uh, last week on that particular Tuesday. Yeah. My Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K that I had for two years since April of 2021 has now died. Or in some cases, it got bricked. I can't believe it. And this was an excellent 4K version of the Fire Stick where I get to watch all the movies, TV shows, and any kind of programming and all these other streaming apps on my 4K TV. And even when I first got this, I still had my Sony Bravia HD TV to hook up with and it played spectacularly wonderful I mean no matter what I mean I got to watch Disney Plus on here I got to watch HBO Max before it became Max and I got to watch um, all my YouTube videos on here which I've used my account on and I even watch Prime Video of all the movies and shows that are available and so many others uh, that I've been getting you know like Tubi, Roku Channel, Pluto TV uh, you name it and that's before I got my TCL 43 inch uh, smart TV that's 4k and indeed <laughs> Stunningly 4K picture, HDR, and it's a Roku TV, so I got one that's built in, and then I got this one <laughs> as a stick. So it's use this as an alternative, right there. Yeah, and as you may see right here, it has all the options that's included on the back and how embossed it is with the remote and it tells you exactly what's available here yeah and comes in this particular black box I'm going to open this up yeah it just has the fire stick guide just tells you exactly um, what's included, all this information on how you set it up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Everything that you need to know. And yeah, this is what the stick looks like when I last used it. It's all wrapped up. And the remotes, of course. Um, so I just want to put it back to the way it was. Uh, with the batteries. Yeah, here's the batteries. Amazon Basics. Yeah. And... Yeah. 
the adapter and the uh, and the USB cords right here. That's how you connect it with indeed <laughs> the HDMI extender. Yeah, that's all I get on this particular package. Well, now I'm going to explain what just happened. Last Tuesday, I went back to my room. I was just getting ready to watch something on my TCL 43-inch 4K Smart TV, Roku TV that I got, of course. <laughs> I had to say it all the way together. And I was just scrolling down on the menu interface of Roku, went straight to YouTube uh, streaming app, just clicked on it, and, and I was just checking to see how my videos are doing that I just uploaded. Yeah, mostly commercial breaks, but in high definition at 60 frames per second. So it smooths out. It looks stunningly beautiful and better than ever. <laughs> okay. After that, uh, I was just going back to the menu interface just to scroll all the way up on top, going straight to HDMI 2 port, which happens to connect to my Fire Stick. Yeah, which I just put in the, the streaming icon, which is actually the Roku Ultra. <laughs> yeah, it's right next to where uh, which where I connect to the 4K player, yeah, the Sony 4K Blu-ray player, where I just use the uh, the player icon that shows the disc around. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, because my Fire Stick is connected to HDMI 2, so I clicked on it, and all of a sudden, I begin to see the Fire TV logo, which is a boot up logo that shows up on the black background often shows up, you know, just getting ready to reboot itself so it can go straight into the menu interface of the Fire TV. You know, we see all these scrolling uh, thumbnails of any uh, choice of movies and TV shows and any other kinds that are available, as well as all the other streaming apps around. You know what I mean. And they even have an advertisement on top, like a billboard. And it basically explains what's available and what's coming out, so on and so forth. Yeah, <laughs> all these advertisements. Anyway, uh, for some reason, it didn't start up. It got stuck on the same Fire TV boot up logo. And what I had to do was I had to unplug the adapter for only 30 seconds and then connected it back again to make sure it's back up and getting ready to load and sadly it got stuck it was constantly flashing you know going directly through the the Roku Ultra uh, icon the HDMI 2 port as we speak and they're just telling you this if the signal is on and it just goes directly back to that and it keeps constantly flashing over and over and over with no such luck. Uh, then I had to change the HDMI port of the stick. You know, I had to take it out and, and just took out the, the HDMI cable that hooks up to my 4K player and just put it on there to see how this will perform and nothing. After that, uh, I, I tried to go back to that to see if maybe this will work and nothing at all. I had to show this to my mom and my sister and she helped out too. We had to try out uh, her TV. It's the same as mine just to see how this will work and same here, nothing. Still stuck. Uh, then I had to go straight to the internet uh, on my laptop just to check to see what's going on. I, I had to go straight to the Amazon website. Uh, had to check on on the help um, options to see on why is this doing this. So I checked the list, did exactly what I'm supposed to do, 
and I was supposed to be hitting the factory reset button onto the remote, you know, where you have to hit it straight to, you know, the, uh, well, let's put it this way <laughs> to make it more easier. Um, I was supposed to hit the, yeah, I was supposed to hit this one and I'm supposed to hit uh, that button right here to see how it resets, factory resets the whole thing. Uh, so that way, you know, it could take out all the other streaming apps that you have already available. So it's going to reset the whole thing and then you have to start over again. You know, log in and set up everything that you need. That sort of thing. And Nope, didn't work. None at all. So I gave up. Uh, and I actually had to check on every single internet art article around and they were all explaining the same problem that I have that every single customer who had the fire stick no matter what version it is it could be also the cube as well that could be 4k uh, all had the same problem and I think it had to do with the faulty software update that Amazon was performing and this was going on like in early February and I think this started to happen much frequently throughout the entire summer from what I heard. And that's why they had to contact um, the Amazon technician team to see if they can resolve this issue. And I know they've been, they've been explaining about what happened for their experience and, and if this doesn't work out, then they offer you a replacement or they'll give you like, you know, 15% off or 20% off or whatever. You'll probably end up getting an Amazon gift card or so. Yeah. Well, I thought about doing that, but I decided because I just found out that Best Buy is actually having this on sale. And because of this problem, I decided to get the uh, Fire Stick 4K Max. Yes, this is the brand new one that I just got uh, on that particular Friday for $26.99. Excellent deal. But that would save my grief because um, at first I thought about maybe getting yet another streaming stick, like maybe the Roku or, well, perhaps uh, one of my, my friends online were explaining to me about that, but however, uh, I did explain back that, well, it could happen to any other streaming device around, and it's not just Amazon. You know, it could happen to Roku, it could happen to Android TV, it could happen to Apple TV, or any other kind available. It's just, it's just one of those times where something just goes completely wrong every time they try to do a software update, or so, or if one of the apps had some some glitches here and there and that could be the case I mean there must have been a really bad glitch in the system and they just they suddenly couldn't resolve that and they obviously could have warned people about this before this whole thing happened but either way that really sucks because I was almost getting just ready to either borrow another fire stick for my sister so I had to use that for a little while. I mean, luckily that still worked, but but it's a not not too slow, but but it does have, take some time to trying to uh, click on each and every one of them, but not as fast as it's supposed to be. And I was also going to go back to using my mom's because that's the one that's really slow with the memory, and that's the the really old one that we had. It was an early one. Since 2015 so it's, it's just crazy to think that these still work but mine suddenly suffers and I had it for two years I mean yes it did came out in 2018 but when I got it two years ago it was brand new it even says it right here uh, 2021 yeah it picks it up I think 
Yeah, hopefully it's not out of focus. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I got it. It's just crazy. Totally crazy. So I'm just so relieved that now this works and I'm gonna show it to it right now. So let's get to it. So we're here with the TV and I'm gonna start by showing you the remote right here. Rather similar to the previous one. Only this time they added a new button for the Alexa. So when you press it on, you'll be able to talk straight out of it and I'll just let Alexa do whatever they told you to do. And yes, they added this button right here, which is the picture in picture. And of course they even had <laughs> the mute button and the button's here to turn it up. But all of them remain the same. But you get four buttons here, which it could be any other streaming app as you can see. But on mine, it just has Prime Video, Netflix, DirecTV, and Peacock. And it has the Fire TV logo. <laughs> so, since it's already hooked up straight out of it, I'm going to turn it on right there. Yeah, TCL, Roku TV, 4K, HDR. And I'm just going to use this remote to just change it straight to the Fire TV 4K Max icon. Turn it on. Okay. Uh, I don't know why he's not doing it, but let's see. And there you go. And it goes straight to HDR. You definitely see exactly what it looks like. You know, similar to my previous 4K with the menu interface. Yeah, there's the Jeffersons. This is in Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, the real Ghostbusters, Invincible Animai, <laughs> Jury Duty, you name it. And here's all the other sponsors of all the apps that's, that you can get. You know, like H HDTV Go, Little TV, The CW, Food Network Go, Trivial Channel Go, Popcorn Flix, Tubi, Plex, Cartoon Network, and you name it. <laughs> and there's blue, there's also Max, Disney Plus, Local BTV, Internet, which is the Amazon SIP browser, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and so on. Uh, I, I've yet to add some more apps too because since I just started this, and it just has all the shows that are available like Arthur, The Wonder Years, Transformers, Rise of the Beast, yeah, the movie that just came out. <laughs> yeah, you can see <laughs> all the action in the Transformers room. Uh, Autobots and the Beast going after the Decepticons. <laughs> okay, Marissa and Joey. Yeah, Marissa Joan Hart and Joey Lawrence. Uh, the TV show that was on ABC Family. Yeah, Seven Headroom with Stephen Collins. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. French Prince of Bel Air, you have a Will Smith right there. <laughs> King of the Hill, yeah. Felicity, Merrill's Place, Mork and Mindy. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm not sure, Mike Farley, Gilmore Girls. Home girls. Yeah, they basically tell you, you know, the ratings are, they tell you the IMDb score was 8.2 out of 10. They tell you the year, basically it's the year where the show ended, and they tell you the, the TV ratings, what it's rated on, yep, included with Hulu. So, it's directly exactly what you can get in all these upcoming movies. Everything that's available on Amazon Prime Video, you know, Amazon Originals and Exclusives, and some of them are just basically regular films. Yeah, and Barbie here, The Hill, 
clean and sweep, make to the trench, you know, that you have to rent a wide. Fast 10, which is Fast 6, Indiana Jones, and Val Destiny, Spider-Man, there's Boomerang right there, which you had Scooby-Doo, Only Channel is available, and any other. Yeah, I got Paramount Plus here too. And we got Rugrats, the new Rugrats. Uh, Ryan Princeton, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, Cirrus X M, Freebie, Freebie. So you can do pretty much anything you want uh, available here. So that's basically what you expect, but it works. And let's see if I can try something that maybe if it does play, but I don't know, <laughs> maybe. Like Batman, for instance. <laughs> Yes, 1989 film with Michael Keaton. Let's see how well it plays on 4K. If it is 4K. And the sound is off, by the way. Uh, yeah, I could even turn this up, too. And get an advertisement. Just an advertisement. And then it just goes directly the movie it tells you the ratings. Oh look how excellent the quality looks. Okay. Let's just stop because we don't want to get copyright infringement. <laughs> yeah. And there's some more Batman movies. Uh, even the Batman. And we got Joker, Black Adam, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. One of them next week four, Cat Woman, yeah, the worst one. We got Elvis, and Hex, and Legacy, Dark Knight Rises, <laughs> Red. I, I just call you Stuart. <laughs> you can't just flip the script. Great movie, but again, there's a lot of clips. <laughs> And it tells you all the cast that you need to know, and the crew, and the director, all that is available. Who's alive and who's dead, and you know. Yeah. So that's basically it. Let's see how real Ghostbusters look. Okay, you have to buy the episodes. Sally. Uh, used to be available though for a while. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But you still get the Jeffersons here and you get all these other shows available on Prime. Yeah, that's just the Jeffersons. I, I know there's all in the family image right there. Well, let's uh, take that off. Uh, let's see how Dungeons and Dragons look. Okay, why is it not letting me go? Dungeons and Dragons. It does say HD, but uh, okay, it's just taking some time to load. That's another thing that bothers me too. It's like it's this is 4K Ultra HD, and then sometimes it it goes straight to HD, and then I'll change it to HD HDR. And then I'll just go straight to Ultra HD. Um, yeah, that was uh, MGM Plus, and yeah, you can see the logo. That's where it's playing the movie. Uh, again, I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna show too much of it because again, we don't want to file all that. Uh, but you know what the logo looks like. <laughs> it's a logo. Very honest for the film. 
Okay, let's just go back. Yeah, there's an advertisement for a hunt team in Venice that's coming out this Friday. So that's exactly what you see, and it works perfectly. Um, let's see some of the options here do you get. Yeah, to get everything, like my apps, or you get more apps. Of all the selections you want. Here's the profiles here, and all this other stuff. Yeah, there's notifications. Um, there's the account and profile settings. I don't know how they, they end up getting profiles in here, but that could be the issue. Seeing that they already got that one. And there's network. Just to check the internet, uh, Wi-Fi connection, display and sound, Alexa, controllers and Bluetooth device, live TV. Yeah, which it's used to see exactly what's on on any channel. Yeah, the controller and Bluetooth device so uh, is basically what you just use. You hook it up to your Bluetooth, and you be able to control it everywhere you want. Especially your Bluetooth headphones on it, everything. Equipment control. Yeah, we can add some more equipment to put together. Applications, so preference, like whatever settings you want to choose. And then my Fire TV, where you just go straight to, you know, the options here, where they tell you if you want to turn it off, just put in sleep mode. Um, or you could just turn it off uh, all the way. Whatever you like. I guess if you have to hit this button and that button, it will let you. And sometimes if you want to restart, you do it. Or you just want to reset the factory default setting. And it has some legal and compliance stuff. Let's see if I can restart. Yes. Come on. Let's see how well it performs. Uh, Your course. Here's the Fire TV logo. And there's the Fire TV boot up logo showing up. So I can go back to <laughs> the way it is. It's loading. There you go. Still live home three fine. Um, yeah, here's the uh, <laughs> core line. There's Clifford, he's number two, undone TV series. Yeah, basically, I save these so to be able to watch what's available. Favorite, of course, just a watch list. Okay, let's get out. Now let's go to applications uh, just to see what's available. So far, 1.81 gigs out of 5.33 gigs. Available. They also have an internal space, so if you hook this up to an external hard drive um, that has a USB connection, like if you have one that's terabytes or so, you'll be able to connect it to it and you'll be able to do whatever you want. And I'll make sure everything runs perfectly. And it runs uh, very fast too, a lot faster than. Uh, than my regular one. So it has a quad port uh, processor. Yeah. So this basically tells you exactly how many apps you got. And it tells you the applications, the data, the cache. The usual stuff. Okay. 
Uh, just a brief tour, but, but here you go. And I'm going to try the Alexa on my remote. So I'll just click right here and I'll just ask, Alexa, switch to Tubi. But you, what can I say? Awesome. And it just has every movie that's available on this app. And every TV show available too. Any kind. Huh. Alexa, go to menu. Okay, Alexa, go back to home. There you go. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit of a screw up, but now you know. And now I'm just gonna say, Alexa, go to the Jeffersons. Okay, you can play the Jeffersons on Prime Video, Peter TV, or Tubi. Which would you like? See, he has those options right here. Prime Video. And I guess you just click it, so. Resume. <laughs> oh, right. That's getting too <laughs> complicated. Well, you get the idea. So that's my Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. The perfect gift that you can ever get. And I also like to say that this one has a Wi-Fi 6. So this is the new uh, Wi-Fi connection that could be used for this to have better performance. And if you get all these other you know, 4K TVs around available, even 8K TVs, you get to see this in the better picture quality and sound that you'll ever get. That's almost closer to looking more like Blu-ray quality and even 4K quality that you get on all these physical media but nevertheless I still support physical media and I always will it's okay to have two different options and it's always great to have everything you want so because why not I mean there are people out there who still love cable TV and satellite TV and I know I do I still love them even though I don't have them anymore maybe someday <laughs> And there are people that still love streaming, no matter what. But there's a lot of people that, that cherish and care for physical media, like we all do. And that's why it all matters. So anyway, I'm Just Face Sabora, and I'll see you later, continuing with more videos coming up. Bye.